guys, so you joined me here back on the Stainer today. Thought I'd come up and do a video on hemp for you. Hemp's one of them ways of fishing. Some people love it, some people hate it. Personally, I quite like it, but it can be a bit iffy at times and make you want to throw your rigs up the bank. But we'll see how we get on. Hopefully, we'll catch some quality roach, a lot of nice stamp roach in this section. So we'll see how we get on. So now I'm about to kickstart my hemp line off. To do this, I like to put a decent amount in at start. Good palmful, put in like a quarter of a cup, something like that. This is just to kickstart it. So you'll see when I ship out, when I feed this, I like to spread it over an area. The reason for that is because I'll be loose feeding hemp over the top of this line. And don't matter how good you are or who you are, you're never going to get every grain down the same hole. It's always going to spread out, which is what you're looking for really. Because we'll be catching them on the drop. Put back a bit. Keep the pole attack, make sure all the, the grains of hemp come out with them being wet, they can stick to the side of cup. And then throughout the day we're just going to lose feed hemp over the top. We started catching a few quality roach now on hemp. And it's not a, a method that you can come Quality. We're getting like one of them most chucks now. And as I say, it's not one of them where you can just come put it in and expect to catch. It's a method where you've got to build it up slowly. So like you saw, we potted a little bit in at start, been loose feeding over at top, and now when I've gone on it, it's solid with quality roach. Let's see if we can get another one. to lay your rigging with them because we've been loose feeding the bait falls through the water so you're trying to imitate that best you can so we hold on to his float like cock wherever we put his bait and let the shot do the work and if I were to let it go now it'd all just go down whereas if I hold on to it it falls through the water Normally, just as it's sitting bottom, that's where it's best to get a bite up. We've got an indication then. This is where the sat. Hopefully, it'll go under in a minute. There we go. Nice little indication, just as it dips. So you can't do it straight away, it takes a while to build up to hemp fishing. But when they arrive, normal old decent quality fish. These are like your proper weight builders at the end of a match, you're looking to catch it last two, three hours at match. They build the confidence up all day just by loose feeding and they think they're all free off. actually comes to it, it can be really easy to catch because it's like they get addicted to the hemp. Don't know why, but big roach love it. You can fish whatever you want, maggots, ground bait, pinkies, you'll pick the odd one off, but I don't know why you always seem to get decent quality stamp fish on hemp. It can be tricky to fish at times, but that's where we'll go through it with you. Quite as big as shine, but still not quite. 
fechada. So when I'm hemp fishing, there's two types of hemp that I like to use. Straight from the tin, that's what I like to use for my feed. And then I also cook up some of my own and pin it. This is usually a bit bigger than the, the tinned hemp. And it also allows me to undercook it slightly. That means that I can, it's not quite split fully, whereas you'll see a lot of it has white bits in. I don't really want them because they're hard at work. The way that I do it is I like to undercook them slightly. And then if you get the, the pinning tool, you can literally get a piece of hemp. These are all pre-done, that's why I've got them. Where the flat end is, I'm not sure if you can see that. The tool literally fits in the flat end and makes a hole. Then where the hole is, I like to get my hook. You can see this. Go into the hole and then out through the side. So that way, the hole's the only way that it can come off and it don't come up and round. So it, sometimes you can get quite a few fish off one piece of hemp. That's why straight out of the tin, perfect. But it's harder to pin. So I like to cook my own, undercook it. And then as sad as it sounds, I'll sit at home, pin a few hundred pieces and then just put them in little bags and bring one out per session. So there's not much left here. So as you can tell, we've had a pretty good session. Let's go see if we can catch some more. What a cracking roach this is on them. These are the sort of quality fish that we're looking for when we're fishing them. Catch a lot of roach and a lot of smaller roach, but for some reason they just can't resist a, a bit of the seed catfish of this size. Awesome fish on any venue. Quality stamp roach these that we're catching. Don't need many of them to found. It's amazing the quality of fish that are in this system. Some days you'd think they were not in it at all, other days like today. It's a lovely day. Catch some more. keep changing the way that I put my rig in. Sometimes when I hold it I'm missing bites but if I drop it in and let it get to the bottom then I'm getting some better fish. If I start missing bites on that then I'll swap and hold it again. It's all about changing on the day. Usually holding it's best but sometimes dropping it in works better. Yeah, just come up on that one. Put it back in and put another piece on.
already got another hook stuck down his mouth. So he snapped somebody off in the in the past at some point, so I've just taken that hook out now. Fish like that, quality stamp fish. Don't know if we'll get another one that size, but we might have another one. You know, have I got two headlines on the go? So I've got one at this side, 10 past, and then I have also got one at 10 to. Just because if bites start getting finicky or iffy, I can just drop on the other line and hopefully catch a few. And then if they start, feed both, but if one starts getting funny again, just keep swapping between the two. This side has been by far the better side, which you'll always find that, but if it does go with it, I've always got then the option to go on to the left hand line and carry on catching a few while this sign sorts itself out. Just something to bear in mind that you don't have to put all your eggs in one basket, you can set up at multiple lines of the same, and you'll always find that one's better than the other on the day. Let's see if we can catch. Oh. It's five slips. Awesome for these size fish. Enough power to strike through. Soft enough. Oh, look at that. Got a little skimmer pommy. Little pommy it is. You don't often catch these on him. But you will find when there's fish competing in the area that they'll come and investigate. And you can catch anything on it. Looks like the old friend Mr. Pike's back. Managed to get one back off him earlier. Don't know how this is going to end. Funny thing, we always take the big ones as well, don't we? the swim very long. Can put other fish off. Sometimes I let go of the fish and if I'm lucky I might get it back but <laughs> don't seem to be letting go. So it just started going a bit iffy on my line at 10 past. So I put in a little bit of emping, laid off the loose feed for a little bit, and I just come over onto my left hand line. Let's see if he's out here. Oh, it could have happened like a pike could have gone through the swim, or I might have fed it a bit too aggressively. And fish have started going a bit silly. So I've just come over onto this line. Few on here. So because this line's been rested, I'm more likely to get quicker bites. <laughs> the smallest dead fish I've had, is it? While we're here, I'll run you through the rig. So it's a 4x14. 12 sorry. Chanty. Look at that. So that we're on 013 power. Got a five slip elastic in. The hybrid slip. And then the shotting pattern is just number 10's tapered strung out. So it gets a bit down and then in that last third of the water, that much, that depth, it'll just present the, the bait to the fish. To that, I'm fishing a 16M40. We've got an 08 fluorocarbon hook length on. So I do like fluorocarbon when fishing for roach, just because I think it's that little bit more supple. And it 
is near on invisible in the water as well and I think a lot stiffer so it kicks out your bait. Just personal preference, I like to use OH. Hold your float so that bottom third of the rig's working. As it settles, it'll just carry on under. That were an indication then. Fish going a bit mad at swim now. We get a lot of indications on them. You've just got to wait for it to positively go under. Sometimes you can just lift the rig out a little bit, lower it back in and it'll just catch the retention. That last little third falling fruit water, sometimes it's enough just to produce an extra bite without lifting your rig out fully. I'd miss that one, that was sat quite high in the water that. Go, another quality roach on them. I had loads of that sort of stamp and size, a few a bit bigger as well. What a lovely way to end the session. As you can see, I've had a lovely day's hemp fishing, quality roach up to I'd say is about a pound, but lots of decent sized fish. This is all can be achieved if you watch the video, follow the tips, and hopefully, you'll catch a net like this soon. <laughs>